200 subscribers. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Now today the a special video to celebrate me hitting 200 subscribers. Um, so this video I wanted to do a, a face reveal because my face here, hello. Um, and so, um, so I also wanted to, my fear, um, well, first of all, I wanted to say, I never, never thought I would, like, actually be, like, a little, a little fan base, but, um, like, my, my dream ever since I was, like, one of my dreams ever since I was, like, younger was to, um, like, um, like, have a, a YouTube channel, because I've always, like, loved YouTube and stuff, and so I've, I've always, like, wanted to become a YouTuber myself. I mean, obviously, obviously, I'm not, like, a big YouTuber with, like, millions of subscribers, but I feel like I've kind of, like, turned into, like, a, a small little YouTuber. Like, I've kind of gained, like, a little fan base. Um, but, um, yeah, so, well, first I want to tell you a little about me. Um, my real name is Jacob White. I'm 19, almost 20. My birthday is December 22nd, 2002. Um, I live in South Carolina, but, um, I was, I'm originally from New York, that's all I'm gonna say about my location, obviously, because privacy, but, um, let's see, my favorite color is red, um, my favorite food is chicken fingers, it's just, like, all the basic stuff, um, let's see, um, my, my favorite movie is, um, um, my favorite movies are like the uh, like the harry potter series harry potter movie series and I, I love harry potter as evidenced by um uh, one of my last videos like the harry potter and the sorcerer's stone dvd menu walkthrough video um like i had said that um like in that harry potter and the sorcerer's stone dvd menu walkthrough video i'd said that like uh harry potter and the uh, or just not specific well harry potter and the sorcerer's stone is like my favorite favorite movie um, like, it's my favorite all, all the Harry Potter movies, but, like, um, just, like, Harry Potter in general, I, like, love the Harry Potter movies, they're, like, my favorite movies, but specific, specifically the first one, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, it's, like, my, my favorite, favorite, that's, like, my favorite movie, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, um, and I also really like, um, like, the Paranormal Activity movies, the Paranormal Activity movies are, like, my favorite, like, horror movie franchise, um, and, yeah, and, and, like, my favorite TV shows, um, sorry, I'm just kind of, like, shaking the camera so much, by the way, this, I'm, like, holding it with one hand, uh, oops, I can't really hold it with this hand, because then it kind of, like, partially covers the camera, but, um, anyways, my favorite shows are, um, well, I actually, actually really like 90s shows, so, like, my, my favorite show of all time is Full House, I love Full House. I've like the complete series right on DVD. Um but other shows I really like are like uh Full House like I said, but then also like Stay by the Bell, uh that seventy show, Fresh into Bel Air, uh Family Matters. So yeah, I, I really I really like ninety shows because they just have they just have like a different feel than like shows from today or like the two thousands or twenty tens or whatever. Um but and I also kind of feel like weirdly nostalgic for me, even though I wasn't alive in the 90s. I was born in 2002. But, um, yeah. And I also really like, like, Nickelodeon and Disney Channel shows as well. Like, I really like Wizards of Waverly Place, School Life, Zack and Cody, School Life on Deck, Wizards of Waverly Place, um, Naked Brothers Band. Naked Brothers Band is one of my absolute favorites. I actually just did, like, a Naked Brothers Band DVD collection video. Uh, like not too long ago, it's like one of my last videos. Um, not last as in final, but last as in previous. Probably knew that, but anyway. Um, but, um, okay. Um, but yeah, like, um, but I like 90 sh shows the best, like I said. Um, but Full House is my favorite, favorite TV show. Um, um, I can't really think of anything else to say about me. And if you have any like questions for me, you can drop them down in the comments if you want. But um I also wanted to tell you like the story of my YouTube channel, like how it all started. 
um, it's basically, um, well, actually, uh, like, if I remember correctly, when I was, like, a, like, little, when I was younger, when I was just a wee lad, um, like, I had, um, like, I, I wanted to try and, like, post a, a YouTube video, like, when I was, when I was little, um, and my mom kind of, like, helped me out, and I think at first I kind of, like, wanted to do a, a health tour, but my mom was like, no, like, that's a bad idea, and then looking back on that, I see why, obviously, because privacy and stuff, but anyway, and then, and I, I had an idea of doing, like, a Wiggles DVD collection video, or, like, showing all the Wiggles DVDs that I had, and my mom was like, oh, that's a good idea, and so I, I did that, and that was the only uh, video I had made when I was, like, little, but, um, and then there was that, and then, like, quite a few years later, I think, like, two years ago, I made, like, my very first YouTube video on this account, like, on this channel, and it was actually a, a gaming video. I started off doing gaming videos, so the very first video was, I believe, was a video of me playing Super Mario Maker, um, Super Mario Maker 2, specifically on the Nintendo Switch, um, and, um, so, so, I, I had wanted to, if, well, if I had first wanted to do, like, a, I wanted my channel to be a gaming channel, and so, um, like I said, I played Super Mario Maker 2, I did a couple of videos of me playing Super Mario Maker 2, and I also did a couple of videos of me playing a VR game called Beat Saber, um, and then I also did, like, a whole bunch of, like, Fortnite live streams, and all that, um, and those, but all those videos weren't, like, getting many views, and, or videos and live streams, because Fortnite videos were live streams, <coughs> um, but, um, well, like, all those videos and live streams weren't really getting many views, I wasn't really getting any subscribers or anything, so, um, so I decided to try something new, so I'm kind of a little bit of a, of a drummer, and so I tried doing a few, like, drum cover videos, um, like, to, uh, maybe see if, like, drumming was my thing on YouTube, but again, those videos weren't really getting that many views, I mean, I think they were getting, like, a bit more views than the gaming videos and stuff, but, but still, I weren't really uh, doing that good, so, and also the name of my channel, like, changed, um, all the times, so at first, I think my, the name of my channel is just my name, Jacob White, and then I changed it to, like, The Ultimate Gamer, when, like, the first thing I did was, like, I started doing gaming videos, and also, I actually, I did post, like, a couple of, like, DVD-related videos, um, like, some of my very first videos on my channel, like, I did, like, a full house complete series unboxing video, and, like, a haunting hour, or also in the Haunting Hour DVD collection video, and a Harry Potter DVD collection video, you can, like, go back to, like, my very first videos if you want to see all of those, but, uh, basically, um, and, like, I decided that I thought I didn't really want to make DVD videos, and I just stuck with gaming for a while, but, like I said, like, gaming videos weren't really making, uh, they weren't really getting that many views, wasn't really getting subscribers, and so, uh, when I introduced, like, drum cover videos and stuff, I changed my name to, like, the ultimate uh, gamer and drummer, um, and then after drum, then after I tried a few drum cover videos and those weren't really successful, really, I, um, I then decided to, like, um, I decided to make, like, DVD-related videos, like DVD unboxing videos, DVD collection videos, DVD menu walkthrough videos, um, just anything DVD-related, or Blu-ray, or 4K, not really 4K, because I don't have a 4K player or a 4K TV, and also not VHS, because I, I used to have a VCR, but not anymore, so it's basically just Blu-ray and DVD, but, um, yeah, um, so, um, after, like, I started really making DVD videos, I changed the name of my channel to the Ultimate Gamer, Drummer, and DVD Collector, but, um, then around when I started making DVD videos, I kind of, like, deleted all the drum cover videos from my channel, because I just wasn't really proud of them, I just, they aren't really that good videos, so I deleted basically all the drum cover videos except for one, which was like a video of my brother drumming to various songs. I think you just go back on my channel and find it, but that was the only one that I didn't delete. But then I like dropped the drummer from my name, and I was just like the ultimate gamer and DVD collector. Um, and when I first started doing like DVD videos, I still did like some Fortnite live streams and stuff. Um, and but um. And then, and then I decided to, like, stop 
doing like gaming related videos and like Fortnite Latch and stuff like that and mainly focus on DVD stuff so then I dropped the gamer part of my name and then I was just the ultimate DVD collector and that's the name that I still have now like that's the channel name that's the name of my cha channel still now and um and so um and uh so um but I wanted to like try and pursue gaming somewhere else so I actually started a Twitch account. I think the name of, like, my Twitch channel was, like, Jake the Snake or something. And, um, I posted, like, a few Fortnite live streams on there on Twitch. And, um, like, those didn't really get that popular. And then I kind of, like, forgot about, uh, Twitch. I haven't, like, done a live stream on Twitch in a while. Um, but, like, in a long time. But, um, so I'm focusing, like, mainly on YouTube now. I don't really do Twitch anymore. But... Uh, yeah, that basically brings us to now. I've been doing, like, exclusively... I'm doing, like, all, like, DVD-related videos. That's, like, um... That's, like, what, um... That's, like, really what I decided to do is DVD or Blu-ray and DVD-related videos, basically. Um... And that kind of, like... Uh, made me a bit more popular, because my DVD videos have... A lot of them have gotten, like, a few hundred views. Sometimes even over a thousand views. Um, and I think I have, like, 76, 77, 78,000 views in total across all my videos, if I remember correctly, somewhere around there. But, um, because in the About tab of, like, your YouTube channel, you can see, like, the total number of views across all your videos. Um, and it was, like, 76,000 views somewhere around there. Somewhere in the mid to late seventies, I can't quite remember. I think it was seventy six or seventy seven, seventy eight thousand, somewhere around there. But <laughs> gonna have to look again. But um, yeah, so those the DVD related videos are what kind of like made me a little bit popular, and you know now I'm up to two hundred subscribers, which is just crazy. Like when I first started my YouTube channel, I thought it was, it'd like be a little fun thing, like like when I was um. Like, I thought when I'm bored, I'll, I'll just make a, like, a little YouTube video just for fun. But now it's kind of, like, turned into, like, a little, mo a little bit more of a serious thing. Because, like, if I didn't expect to, like, get kind of, kind of popular, I guess. I mean, like I said, I'm not, like, a really big YouTuber, obviously. With, like, millions of subscribers and, like, billions of views, obviously. But, um, that would sound kind of like a small little YouTuber, because like, 200 subscribers, not every day you get 200 subscribers, like, I never thought I'd reach that number, I mean, to a lot of people, 200 might not really seem like that big of a number, might, 200 might seem like a pretty small number to a lot of people, but to me, that's a pretty big number, I never thought I'd get that many subscribers, so, basically have, like, a little fan base now, and, um, yeah, and you, and you never know, maybe one day I'll get up to, like, a thousand subscribers. I think a thousand subscribers is like a reachable goal. And also I um I think I actually said this in like the Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, like DVD menu water video, but um I have an app called YouTube Studio, which is basically for creators, like content creators and stuff on YouTube. You can like see stats, um like you can see like uh views and like um like views on all your on your videos and like um like which days like people like subscribed to your channel stuff like that but um on that app like i saw there's something called like youtube partner program which if you get uh like up to a thousand subscribers and up to like um i think it was maybe like five thousand or ten thousand like uh watch hours or something like view watch hours or something like that i don't 100 remember but um Basically, if you meet, like, all those requirements, like, YouTube will, like, um, like, you'll get a chance to, uh, get into, like, the YouTube partner program, and basically what that means is YouTube will start automatically putting ads on your videos, you can, like, maybe, um, like, get, um, like, in, uh, paid for making videos, basically, um, like, ads help, um, people on YouTube, um, like, make money, like, ads or, like, um, have, like, mon monetization stuff, stuff like that, and so, like, that, um, like, the ads on YouTube, are like, well, it helped the YouTubers make money and stuff, and so, like, maybe, maybe one day I'll meet those requirements, and, like, I might, um, might get into that, like, program, 
thing and I mean it's obviously not like a for sure thing I think YouTube themselves like whenever people like meet those requirements I think YouTube themselves they like pick like people to uh, be in the YouTube partner program but um yeah I never know um probably people that keep subscribing to my channel and I'll get to like maybe a thousand subscribers one day like I said I think I think a thousand subscribers is a good goal I think it's reachable um I'm definitely not gonna hope for like a million subscribers right now. That's like way too, way too far out. Like I don't think I'll get a million subscribers in the near future. I mean that would be cool. Um, I'll probably like, be like the, I'd probably be like the most popular DVD related channel if I got like a million subscribers. Because I think the most popular DVD related channel I've seen has like, um, I can't remember. Um, I think like fifty thousand something fifty thousand something subscribers somewhere around there um but that's like the most popular video late channel i've seen i think that was like jay's blu-rays i think is um like the the dvd slash blu-ray blu related channel that has like fifty some thousand something subscribers um he's one of the main dvd channels i watch is jay's blu-rays if, if you haven't seen him then you should like check him out he's awesome and also a guy called Dan Finnegan. He is also a DVD related channel. Well, he also does like he shows like book collections and like video game questions and stuff. You should you should check him out as well. He's cool as well. Um, I'm not I'm the main one. You should watch. Um, like unsub unsubscribe from those two and subscribe to me. I'm not I'm just kidding. Um, but um, yeah, and it's like um, thank you all for like subscribing to my channel and anyone who has ever even like viewed one of my videos even for like just a, a few seconds like if you've just like watched one of my videos for a few seconds and like um thank you that really like helps me out um and um i don't think i have anything else to say but um yeah so this is the 200 subscriber special and um oh also um, after this video, I'm also going to make a, a video of, like, a, um, like, a new DVD that I got, uh, from Walmart recently, like, yesterday, um, so, yeah, look up for that video, but, um, yeah, this is the 200, this is my 200 subscriber special, and, uh, yeah, that's it for this video, and I'll see you all in the next video.